This is my project car. It's a 1952 Dodge Coronet. And this is how it looked on the day I took possession of it and removed it from the storage barn. That rollback driver, he was fast. It was very hard for me to keep up with him. When I got the car home, I power washed it and it looked a lot shinier. But I didn't really care for the monochromatic look. And the car sat for about six months while I waited for DMV to complete the titling process. But when I got the title, I got to work on it, uh, removing everything that I knew I wouldn't use. And first thing I did was remove the engine. And I noticed the car was originally a Sieg foam green instead of a red. It had been painted many times. There was a lot of rust in the floor, so I decided the best thing to do would, was to remove the body from the frame so I could work on the frame and the body separately. And it was a lot easier that way. And... Uh, I made an engine, I rebuilt an engine for the car, and when I put that, I put that back into the frame and made some modifications for a rack and pinion steering system and a custom shaft for the steering wheel. I used a collapsible column instead of the pole, and uh, there was a lot of work uh, in the frame to, to uh, accept the, the changes. I cut out a lot of rust, needed a lot of sheet metal and tubing. Luckily, I had a friend in the steel business that sourced me all the steel tubing and pipe I needed and sheet metal. He also had a lot of really cool tools, and he even gave me a, a 54 Plymouth. I went through a lot of cardboard templating and made also made a hydraulic throwout clutch for it. I welded in a, a new steel frame with a, or the new steel floor with a subframe. And I went through a few plastic gas tanks before I found the one I wanted to use in the car. And I fully bench tested the electrical system before even installing it into the car. I relocated the battery to the trunk. And I made an air conditioning system that also installed in the trunk. And I fabricated all the air conditioning lines myself. And I made a heating heat exchanger for the heater. And for the seats, I used a truck seat in the front, and in the rear, I just made one out of pine seat, pine wood, and uh, upholstered that. I did a lot of body work, filling in the holes, and this is what the car looked like on the, the first day. I tagged it and drove it into work, and I really enjoyed driving it and uh, doing modifications to it. Lately, I painted it blue and with a cream roof, and I reupholstered the seat again. And I plan on doing videos specifically addressing all the different parts of the, the systems in the car, like the steering and the brakes, the electrical, the air conditioning, the suspension, the engine, the transmission. And this is just, uh, in this video, I'm just doing an overview showing the car in general. But basically every system on the car got, got modified or touched or, or uh, changed or upgraded in one way or another. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click the like and subscribe and hope you'll look forward to the videos I have coming up where I get into the details of the car. An old Singer sewing machine and uh, turned out pretty good, I think. And so I, I regret now that I didn't use better material because I wouldn't be reupholstering it now. I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, I've got some new material that's uh, that material in the back for the back seat. I made the back seats after I made the first seat, the front seat, and in the back seat I found this material I liked a little better. And so I'm gonna be pulling the seat. I've already pulled the all the hardware here to remove the, the front seat. I'm gonna remove it in sections. And I've already disconnected the seat heaters for the top part of the seat right here. And I don't know, I guess my fan did that. Need to put that back where it goes. But here's the material for the uh, the rear seat. I'm gonna be using that in the front. It's a little more durable, hopefully. It, I made it about the same time, but it's held up a lot better. And I just like the look of it better. And so I'm gonna be pulling the seat out. It's hardware's ready, it's, it's ready to come out. And then I'll disassemble the seat and make, I'll reuse the seat as a pattern and hopefully just make it just like, like I did before on the old Singer 
machine I've got.